and welcome to this week's edition of Saxon TV. I'm Philip, and I'm Austin. Sprague and South missed out on a shot at the OSAA Orchestra State title. Both schools lost a significant amount of points for not meeting the required 15 minutes of play. On the morning of April 30th, Salem Kaiser Superintendent Sandy Husk announced that she will withdraw from the Seattle Superintendent search process. She believes that she wasn't the right match for the situation. Now let's take it to Jared with this week's weather. Hey guys, welcome to the five day forecast. This week we're looking at about a mid 50s into the 60s, a little clouds for the weekends, probably no showers though. Moving into the beginning of the week, we're looking at 60s and 40s for the lows, as well as a little bit of sunshine to brighten up your day. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jared. The opening of the student art show located at the Ike Box began May 1st and will continue throughout the entire month. Attention juniors and seniors. Tickets for prom are on sale in the Upper Commons during both lunches. The cost is $20 per person and $40 per couple. The prom will be on Saturday, May 19th from 7.30 to 10 p.m. at the Deepwood Estates. The city plans to close two fire stations, Station 11 in the West Salem and Station 8 at Chemeca Community College. Even with this new reduced budget year, property tax revenue is estimated to be $54.8 million, while police and fire budgets will cost $60 million. Now for sports. Tyler, take it away. Thanks, Philip. This week in softball, the girls' softball team took on the McKay Royal Scots and won big to move their league record to an astounding 11-1 and move their overall record to 18-2. The Saxons currently seat fourth in the state rankings. The next game will be a big one as they take on the seventh-ranked team in the state, the McNary Celtics. The game will be held at McNary on Friday, May 4th, with a 4.30 start. The boys' baseball team is currently ranked ninth in the state with a 16-5 overall record and an 11-1 league record. The last game on Tuesday against McKay was a complete blowout, and the next game will be at Gilmore Field against McNary on Friday with a 4.30 start. The boys' golf team played poorly on Monday, where they had their worst showing of the year. The districts will be held at Tristing Tree on May 7th and 8th, where the boys try to compete for a spot in the top two to make it to state. The girls' golf team has finished second in the last three CVC matchups against Sprague and head to districts this Monday and Tuesday at Tristing Tree to try and repeat by winning the district title while Sprague and Redmond try to beat them out. The next boys' tennis match will be on Friday versus North at 3.30. The girls' tennis team will be at North with a 3.30 start. That's all for this week, folks. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Tyler. South Salem culinary team took fourth at Nationals this week in Baltimore. Congratulations to our Saxon chefs. Tuesday, May 15th at 2 p.m., cap and gowns will be distributed in the gym lobby. The deadline for late orders has passed. However, if you're not sure you've purchased your cap and gown, talk to a counselor or Miss August. Senior banquet tickets are on sale now. Purchase one at the leadership office today. The cost is $20 per person and will be held at the Illahee Country Club on Thursday, May 24th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. You must reserve your ticket by May 10th, but you can pay for it up until May 24th. Thanks for watch watching Saxon TV. Now to wrap up our show, Cecilia, with a special interview. Hi, I'm Cecilia, and I'm here with our choir director, Mrs. Stinson. Hi. Hi. Um, so what made you want to become a choir teacher? Uh, my best memories growing up always took place in the choir room. And I've loved to sing since I was really young, and my parents always encouraged that. And my family actually sang together. And when I got into high school, I had an amazing choir director that it just felt so wonderful to be singing and to be in his classroom and the incredible music and goosebumps that I would get singing this incredible music. Um, and I just could never think of anything that would be more fun than being able to uh, stand in front of a group of people and help them experience the same joy that I felt as a student. And it's just been something all of my life. I didn't actually go back to school to become a teacher until I was in my 30s. And all that time, nothing else appealed to me the way teaching choir did. And um, so eventually, I achieved my dream and became a teacher. And it's been an, a wonderful profession for me. That sounds great. So do you have any upcoming performances? We do, actually. Um, our, our all-school spring concert is going to be on May 15th, 
and uh, then later in June, and I'm so sorry I've forgotten the exact date, but I think it's around June 4th, we have our jazz solo night that uh, Southern Airs will all be singing a solo, and hopefully we'll be down at the Ike Box for that. But then the most pressing uh, concert that's coming right up, of course, is our state competition, and that's the OSAA State Choir uh, Competition, and it is this Saturday, May 5th, and Symphonic Choir will be competing at that event. They're great. <laughs> They're doing awesome this year. I'm really proud of them. They did really well at districts. Um, we came in second by just four points to McNary, so there are big rivals right now. Although there are other really good choirs around the, the state as well. Um, so this Saturday, uh, they sing at 6.20 p.m. at George Fox University in Newburgh. Coming right up. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you hope to achieve from your performance at State? Well, um, first of all, I think we've been working really hard to prepare for state. So some of the, so I'll talk first about the preparation that we've done. But some of the preparation, of course, they've been really focused in class. Um, we have also been doing early bird sectionals. So they've been coming in every morning at 6.30 in the morning working on sight singing. That's part of the competition as well, not just our particular set of music that we do, but uh, sight singing as well. And so we've been doing that. We've had some extra evening rehearsals. And we've also brought in a couple of wonderful clinicians. We had Lauren Wins, who actually taught here at South for 21 years before I came to South. He came and worked with the group. We've had uh, Dr. Wallace Long from Willamette University. And then we're also going to have Dr. Ethan Sperry from Portland State University come down one day and work with the kids. So they've been doing, uh, just lots of, there's just been lots of growth that's been going on. So, now in answer to your question, what we hope to achieve, it's, it's easy to say uh, we hope to achieve first place. Yeah. Everybody, you don't go to a competition to lose. Um, but we understand that, that uh, it's hard to judge art. It's not quite like when you play basketball and a ball goes through the hoop and you know that you get a certain amount of points. It's not quite the same when you have judges judging your singing performance. I just hope for the kids that when they're on stage, uh, when they finish the performance, that they can say, yeah, we sounded awesome. We did as well as we could do. We, we prepared, we worked hard, um, and we feel really, really good about our performance. And, you know, on a, I would have to admit, I certainly hope that we come in at least uh, in the top five. I, I would really like that. Um, but again, I just want the kids to have a really great experience at it. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Denson. You're so welcome.